Okay. Um, Beauregard is one of the most widely grown in the U.S. right now. It's probably what you get in your grocery store. Yeah, that's it. Show me. Oh, okay. I can move this up. Boop. Tastes like Thanksgiving. What else? Anything else? It's a good one to start with because it's like the baseline sweet potato. You know? Mm hmm. So that's just olive oil, salt, and pepper. This is butter, salt, and pepper mash. So it's like just basic, nothing. Salted butter. It needs more? Uh, no, it's very salty. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. I hope that's not going to distract. No, but it's. Good. No, it's good. Okay. Tell me about the hardiness of growing this type of sweet potato. No, I'm serious. That's something to consider, right? I don't know for this one yet because this one I'm waiting to get the variety back from the grower. I called them today. Um, that is... So I don't know about the Japanese one. Um, this is Beauregard. It's fast growing. So like, I think it was like 80 days or something versus the Garnet, which is like 120 days, which might be too long to grow in Wisconsin. So yeah, uh, it's got a whole bunch of mite and or not might, uh, resistances for rot and things like that, so. Can you do anything with the leaves? I think you can do something with all the leaves. Oh, I, okay. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, Jewel? What's special about the Jewel? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't find much. Is it sweeter? Well, it's not as sweet, I don't think it's. Less sweet? I, I think it's less sweet. Yeah, it's less sweet, it's more starchy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Beauregard, way sweeter. But that might be what you want in like a mashed potato replacement. Less sweet, more starch. Depends on what you're going for. Because you're going to have white potatoes too. Yeah, potentially, yeah. So. But I mean, it depends on what you want for the sugar content. If yeah. you're going to be higher sugar content. That's, if yeah, you want higher sweeter. sugar content, then you just add brown sugar. That's true. That's definitely sweeter. Or this one, the Beauregard, mm -hmm. is definitely sweeter. Sweet potato pies are supposed to be sweet, is that right? Yes. I don't know. All right. Have a pie that's not sweet? Shh. Shepherds. These are garnet. Yeah, but that's pretty good. a lot firmer. This one's not exciting to me. This one, it seems flavorless compared to the other one. Well, that one takes 120 days to mature, so. So why would it take so long to mature and then not have any flavor? I don't know, but it might it might have more yield, like it might produce more because it has longer, but less flavor. Well, that's something for you to consider. So tell me about that. I don't I don't know for all of them yet. I'm still doing. Oh. I'm in the middle of research. I don't know all of it yet. I know right. that the Beauregard is really a high producer, and I think the Garnet is a pretty high producer, but they gave different figures. This is like, this one, the site of, the resource I found said, you know, how many bushels per acre for this one, and that one told me how many tomato, or how many potatoes per plant. <laughs> <laughs> so. Tell, if, I don't know if this makes a difference, but... I mean, these were all organic, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one just seems flavorless. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I like it tastes as butter. I don't yeah. taste any yeah. additional flavor from the potato itself. Yeah. It seems a bit firmer. That one might need a little longer to cook in the oven. All right, I'm intrigued by the Japanese one. I'm a little disappointed at browning a lot, which is fairly typical to potatoes and other things. When they're oxidizing out in the atmosphere, they'll turn brown. Like a banana. So you can see like this isn't white. When I first cut it open it was like white like this and now it's already fairly brown. So Ooh. It's definitely the smoothest because I did about the same amount of mashing for all of them. Do they all cook the same amount? Yep, they all cook the same amount, all cooked exactly the same. All oil, butter, salt and pepper on all of it. This one's definitely not sweet. It has a better crisp on it. Mm -hmm. I think this would make the better fries. 
And they're super but, smooth. But my question is, if you have white potatoes as well, mm. what would be the benefit of growing the Japanese That's potato? That's true. That's true. Yeah, they're probably the closest to white potatoes. I mean, the color is part of the fun. <clears throat> well, and let me ask you this, because color also has to do with nutritional value. So what's the nutritional value of the Japanese? <coughs> uh, that I haven't looked up yet. Scott, why can't you answer any of that I don't question? know. Lots of carbohydrates and a few vitamins and minerals is what they're all going to be. <laughs> and some sugar content. Difference. But these must have some sort of different nutrient yeah. content because they're orange. Yeah. Beta carotene, I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's true. Since those but I'm saying in terms of particularly in the winter, from a nutritional standpoint, you know, you want your plate to be very colorful. Mm. In the winter time, your plates are generally less colorful. So if you've got white potatoes already, then that's not going to add any color. I think they'll make the better fries, though. But yeah, we have But so will white potatoes. Yeah, I know. Mm. Crispy. Okay. So. If we want sweet, we'd want to go Beauregard. Yeah. Guard, I think, is out because it doesn't taste very good. I mean, it doesn't taste like anything. Unless there's some sort of benefit other than in the taste that we don't know about yet because you haven't finished oh. your research. Oh, yeah, it cures cancer, Alzheimer's. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. Don't. Um, I think, yeah, you have to consider things other than taste. Yeah, and I feel like the... Japanese is a lot softer, and I feel like it would bruise a lot easier. And I noticed that, like, when they came and it, who knows how they were handled, you know, compare that it's not a fair comparison because we don't know. But, like, this one had a lot more, like, um, spots and stuff on it, which could be, again, from different handling. So, you know, but it, it doesn't feel as like it preserves as well, which is another problem. If, mm -hmm. if we were storing a lot of them, we wouldn't go bad halfway through the winter. Mm -hmm. Where, yeah, the garnets, three, two, uh, these two are about the same. So I like. I mean, I'm going with one of these two. Depends. I think it depends on what you want your sweet potatoes for. If you want them sweet potato tasting, then you have to go with the Beauregard. But if you want something that's a little bit more versatile, mm -hmm. you know, because this could be, you know, you add a little bit of sugar and it's like a sweet potato. You don't add any sugar and it's more like, you know, a butternut squash. And you can't take you know? the sugar out of this one. Yeah. But I'm a sucker for sugar. Who is it? Especially in the winter. Beauregard's kind of boring though. I wanted something like, oh, this is a super exotic, amazing sweet potato from Sumatra, and it's just the most amazing thing you've ever had. Not the Beauregard from Louisiana. Named after Tell me so about the jewel. Is it from Sumatra? No. Or is it from Ohio? And apparently there's also another type, there's two types of jewels, and I don't know which one this is. I'm a bad potato guide. I mean, so I think just based on taste alone, you narrowed it down to these two, and yeah. now you need to do further research into these two and decide oh, which one more Jewel. Yeah. Well, and we need to talk more about do we want something that's more, for, yeah, like you said, more versatile. We can always add mm -hmm. some honey or whatever to it. Or Well, and how much space does each plant need and how many does each plant produce? Mm -hmm. You know, which is the most space efficient if you have a small space. That's true. And which ones will vine? Like some will crawl up trellises and some won't, mm. which will make a big difference for space. You know, vertical space we have a lot. We do. They're all good though. Yeah, I mean, what could be bad? It's a potato with butter and salt. <laughs> and pepper. Pepper. Okay. Beauregard or Jewel. I don't know, we'll have a long rambly video. <laughs> a warm people. It's just us talking about potatoes is very exciting. <laughs>